when I was saying there's a deep uh, philosophical uh, problem, I was actually referring to the question itself because there are people out here, out there. For example, there is this guy whose last name is Oppenheim who th who thinks that uh, you know you don't even need to quantize you know gravity. I think you need a classical, uh, sorry, semi-classical description where you know yeah. your matter is quantized, but the space time is not. So, what do you think about the question of quantizing gravity? Oh, I see itself? what you mean. I see. Well, I think that's not really a philosophical problem so much as an empirical problem. I mean, the mainstream assumption in most of quantum gravity is that the gravitational field um, uh, ent entangles with matter. So hmm. we know that if I put if I put a rock over here, sorry, I'm not, it's not a visual medium, isn't it? I'll tell, I'll tell you this again. If I put a rock on the left side of my desk, then it gravitates and you know passing particles are pulled very slightly towards the left side of my desk. If I put a rock on the right side of my desk, particles are pulled very slightly towards the right side of my desk. So how about now if I create a superposition of a rock on the left side of my desk and a rock on the right side of my desk? Well, what the mainstream assumption is that the what that does is create a superposition of a gravitational field on the left side of the desk and a gravitational field on the right side of my desk so that a particle um, moving ends up getting entangled by the, with, by the gravitational interaction with the particle's location. Um, the alternative might be that the particle um, is attracted not to the actual location of the rock, but to its quantum mechanically expected value. So the expectation value of the location of the rock is in the middle of my desk. And so that theory of gravity would say that the passing particle is attracted to the middle of the desk. Um, now, if the many worlds theory of quantum mechanics is correct, then that second theory of gravity has been false. People have actually literally done the experiment. It's called the Page Gartner experiment. And to nobody's surprise, the particles were indeed pulled to where the rock actually was, um, rather than where the rock's expected value was. Um, and that shows you that if you have a many worlds theory of quantum mechanics, gravity has to be quantized. There's no way around it. Um, there are other ways of seeing the same point. I mean, the evolution of the solar system is chaotic on million year timescales. So if you evolve the solar system forward a few million years, the Earth will be in a superposition of all the different places around its orbit. Um, mm -hmm. And of course, if you, you know, that, that, that should mean that from a multiverse point of view, the Earth is already in a superposition of all the places in its orbit. We're just on one of those branches. But of course, we don't feel the average gravitational field of the Earth there. We feel the actual gravitational field of the Earth. We, we fall towards where the Earth actually is. So if the many worlds theory is true, we can already rule out um, semi, that, that semi-classical idea of gravity. If the many worlds theory is false, then some kind of collapse mechanism might kick in so that actually I didn't prepare a state where the rock was at the superposition of the left side of the desk and the right side of the desk. I actually just prepared a state where the rock was, as it were, on the left side of the desk. And so, of course, the gravitational field's on the left side of the desk. Um, so the combination of a collapse theory plus semi-classical gravity is not at the moment ruled out by any experimental data. I think there are quite deep technical problems in building a theory of that kind, but they're not, it's not um, directly empirically ruled out. It is likely to be ruled out, or depending on your priors, triumphantly vindicated uh, at some point in the next 10 to 20 years. Um, the way you would do that experiment, the way you would do an experiment to, to try to test the theory is that you would take some microscopic system and put it in a superposition of two locations and then allow another particle to interact gravitationally with it so as to entangle them uh, or not entangle them, depending on whether the gravitational field is itself entangled with the particles. And all do that experiment while all in the while maintaining all the while maintaining quantum superposition. Um, if you did that experiment, then the semi-classical theory of gravity and the um, uh, the normal quantum the, the sort of low energy what I call low energy quantum gravity theories make different predictions. Um, low energy quantum gravity predicts that you'll see uh, an entanglement effect that you can then actually test, and you can test it while confirming the coherence of the situation. The um, uh, the low end, the, the semi-classical theory will predict, depending on the details, either that the wave function was collapsed by the gravitational superposition. That's probably not actually viable on those scales, but it's, you can imagine it. Or more likely, it's going to predict that the gravitational attraction is to the expected value of the microscopic particles location. Um, so those, are, those would be direct 
empirical differences. Um, that's obviously not an easy experiment to do. You need to start looking at the gravitational field of a single atom. It is actually on the experimental threshold of being do doable. You don't, you don't notice the deflection of the particle through space, but there's a spin coupling that shows up in very tiny changes in frequency. And the accuracy of experimental processes in this stuff is so good these days that it's not out of the question to do the experiment. It's, um, it's beyond the current experimental state of the art, but not, if you believe the experimentalist, by very much. So people are talking about being able to run this experiment on something like a 10 to 20 year time scale. Um, I see. I have I have a bottle of good wine resting on the fact that the result will be <laughs> will confirm um, low sure. energy quantum gravity. So you know, who will see? Uh, Oppen Oppenheimer's intuitions are different from mine here. Put it that way. Right. Uh, the, so, the point uh, is, it's, just... a it's a testable question. We will probably know the answer in our lifetimes. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And the YouTube algorithm thinks that you will also like this video.